Ladies and gentlemen, I am reading a Yahoo News article, Trump to file motion for special master after Mar-a-Lago raid, CBS News. Trump considering filing motion for calling special master to review evidence. Seized from Mar-a-Lago, attorney says. Well, what does that mean? Let's get to the definition of that. Hit subscribe. We're going to zoom past 200,000 subscribers. It's because of you. We're now over 5,000 subs on the Stock Market Crash channel, and we're almost at 20,000 subs on H.A. Goodman's other channel. So hit subscribe to those two and to this right now. Former President Donald Trump is considering filing a court motion which calls for the appointment of a special master to review and return evidence collected during last week's FBI search of his Mar-a-Lago estate, one of his attorneys said Friday. This is interesting because according to the Independent and other publications, he watched them real time from New York. So he actually watched them as they were being recorded on security cameras in New York. Mind you, Madam Secretary had, and we, I please go ahead and read or watch, or you could read my writing in the Hill, the Huffington Post, Salon, the Jerusalem Post, the Federalist, other publications. I've written a great deal about this in the Hill and the Huffington Post and Salon and other publications pertaining to Clinton's servers. Clinton had top secret and special access program intelligence, James Comey stated, on servers running outside of the United States government. Check this segment prior. Actually, there's a segment on Alec Baldwin right before this one, and then two segments. The the first segment today is James Comey and his words, special access program intelligence, top secret data on email chains that somehow got to servers located outside of the United States government. How did Clinton's team transfer classified data from secure Pentagon and DOD and Intel agency servers. Did she go? Did her team go to Radio Shack and buy a gigantic cord and plug the cord into a server at Central Intelligence and then and then plug it into her secret servers that President Obama didn't know about apparently until he watched CNN? So that is a national security nightmare. That is a complete mockery of, of uh, a complete another mockery of classified intelligence and, and handling of classified data. Now, this has all the hallmarks of a Clintonian operation, similar to the Steele dossier and Alpha Bank, all these nonsense, all these nonsensical false allegations, baseless claims leveled at Trump that are filtered through the United States government to get government agencies to investigate and find nothing, but zilch, nada, zero. He wasn't indicted on any of the accusations from Stormy to Georgia to New York to, oh, that's right, Kinzinger and Cheney failed miserably. Indict the man if you have evidence. If you only have investigations, that means you don't have evidence and you just want to level the United States government against somebody who didn't commit crimes. But anyway, let's get to... This special master appearing on the Mark Levin radio show, attorney Jim Drusty said that the filing could come as soon as Friday, uh, but as late as Monday. It's probably going to be more like ours. It's coming very soon. Two people familiar with the discussion also confirmed. Okay. And so basically, sources indicate Trump's legal team could seek relief under the federal rules of criminal procedure that govern, govern searches. At least two rules in particular could be cited so this is this is CBS article, but there's another article. The Guardian has one. Legal motion would seek appointment to a, uh, of official to decide what materials can be used in, in in investigation. Attorneys and sources say what the issue is that they seized attorney client privilege. Almost certainly, they got his passports. They got things that have nothing to do with what they were accusing him of. So this is how. Democrats role. This is how the media, this is how the media operates. And this is how the United States government operates against Trump. Okay. I explained today when James Comey looks at secret servers for four years, where half the communication is deleted without government oversight, he says, well, no reasonable prosecutor, uh, although he actually stated, and I explain in the, um, I explain in the segment prior to this one, Although 
although there is um although I hear Although there's evidence of criminal statutes, evidence of crimes, okay? Although there's evidence that criminal statutes were broken, no reasonable prosecutor would indict. No reasonable prosecutor. What kind of reasonable prosecutor would indict Trump for a library? He was the former president of the United States of America. He wasn't a secretary of state hiding information. Now, the interesting thing regarding Clinton's servers is that morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrats who are almost always apoplectic about everything cannot admit, they cannot look in the mirror and they cannot admit that their side is far more corrupt, but has the United States government and media and social media algorithms protecting them. When you have secret servers if you worked at Walmart, if you worked at IBM, if you if you were a manager at McDonald's and your first day at work at the franchise, you set up secret servers to trade stocks or to communicate with another government or whatever, you would be fired immediately from McDonald's or from IBM. Could you imagine going to Bill Gates at Microsoft and saying, oh, by the way, I mean, whatever, you know, the... the Let's say he's visiting and, uh, you know, who's running it now, whatever. And so, um, oh, by the way, I'm going to just, I'm just going to install these secret servers, Bill Gates. I hope you don't mind. Could you imagine going to Tesla? Could you imagine going any Apple? Could you imagine being a Walmart employee? Could you imagine working at Target and then just saying, you know, by the way, I'm just going to set up these secret servers. It would never happen in a million years, okay? That is a complete and utter mockery of intelligence. And by the way, if there's a morally superior, highly educated expert who says, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about in the, in, in the Hill, the Huffington Post, Shalon, the Federalist, other publications pertaining to Clinton's servers. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, um... How did Clinton transfer the top secret and special access program? And how did her team, and I want a Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump 2024, but how did her team transfer the information? How did, the, how did her team transfer the information? Nobody knows. We know that boxes in a truck were taken to Mar-a-Lago. Big deal. Big deal. They're desperate to get him because they couldn't prove he tried to undermine and overthrow democracy and everything good in the universe. I thought that he threw his dinner at the wall. Didn't he throw his dinner at the wall? Cassidy, um, I forgot her last name, said so. Okay, he threw his dinner at the wall. Another brave individual fights to save democracy who happened to work with Trump and apparently wanted to work with him uh, longer. And, but, so, these people are hilarious. Liz Cheney and Kinzinger voted 90% alongside Trump in Congress, according to 538. This is all theater, ladies and gentlemen. I talk about politics on this channel and the stock market crash channel. We'll talk about, you know, the stock market crash I predicted in the Federalist in October and in September of, of 2021. And the economic downturn we're seeing, but on H.A. Goodman's other channel, I'll be doing corresponding segments very soon, uh, especially in September. It's going to heat up, so you'll have double the H.A. Goodman if you enjoy that. For some people, that's nauseating, but but you know what? If you enjoy it, I thank you. God bless you. I love you. But H.A. Goodman other channel will have so that what used to be the stock market crash, and now it's just going to be old school, exactly the way we had it like two years ago or whatever. So you'll have more of my analysis. But you cannot go after Trump when, when Comey set the precedent that high-ranking officials who didn't intentionally commit a crime, um, well, Clinton actually did intentionally commit crimes, but again, I want a Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump 2024. So did Hunter, by the way, with 150 financial transactions. You'd have to know something of, of suspicious and emails that are, obvious quid pro quo schemes. See, a wonderful, highly educated uh, atheist, liberal Democrat basically told the world the other day that it really doesn't matter what Trump, what Hunter or anyone does, Trump is worse. This is, of course, the opposite is true. 
They're the ones who get away with everything and do far worse things because they didn't mean to. There was no reasonable prosecutor. With, with Comey, he had to fabricate an illusion this, or this fantasy of a, of a prosecutor. With Trump, he's a former president with boxes for a library, and oh my God, they couldn't get him for overthrowing the government. They couldn't get him for Georgia, in, in New York, Stormy, a Mueller probe found nothing. Uh, nobody was indicted for uh, working or conspiring or colluding with an intelligence official to interfere in our pristine democracy. So they're lying through their teeth. Look, there's an expression, money talks, you know what walks. You think that he's so corrupt, why hasn't he been indicted? We know why Clinton and Hunter weren't, they're Democrats. The entire system, according to Com the entire United States government and media and social media algorithms are leveled against Trump, but they can't find a crime? Maybe he didn't commit a crime. Maybe you're so utterly corrupt, you're just going after him because you despise him. Because he actually, what, presided over record highs in household median income and a record low in poverty, and you despise that, Democrats. Anyway, give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Thank you.